So in speaking about our children and transitioning to Portugal, one of the number one items that we were concerned about was the school and making sure that they were comfortable with the school, that they were able to speak the language, um, and it, it was smooth for them. And they continued learning and staying on path, on their educational path that we wanted them to. Um, so we just started looking for international schools and there wasn't a very good response uh, back from the schools, whether that be for they get a lot of people asking about it, dreamers, stuff like that. We weren't taken super seriously with the schools. Um, now, a few did, a few got back to us, set up some Zoom meetings, because we're still in the United States. You know, for children with school, you got to plan basically a year ahead of time, at least, you know, eight months before the semester starts. Um, and so we kind of got through and it worked out well. We went with the school. Well, it may not have been in the high-end areas of Lisbon. It's still in the Lisbon capital. They're off to the side and they have amazing busing, private bus system they develop. But what this school plays well with is they are very focused on an English speaking language. They also do a lot of Portuguese and other languages, but it's all in English. So that made it very easy for the kids. They can communicate well with all of the teachers. 90% um, of the students are, are very proficient with English. Um, and then 10%, whether they be Portuguese or Russian, there's a few of them that don't speak good English, but that actually comes in handy because that's what we wanted with our children is to experience other cultures. And so it's fun to see these kids, you know, they can't speak to each other, but they get along together perfectly on the playground stuff because they understand motions and emotions and you know it, it's good it's really what we moved here for portugal is the kids to get this experience and so with the school you know, there was a lot of differences you know times and endings of school and, and expectations from the parents within school you know but overall it was very smooth our children here in portugal have done amazing it has been a completely smooth transition they are very friendly with their teachers they come home and they describe everything they're doing in the school and it doesn't feel much different from when we're going to school there in the united states specifically arkansas um, now i will say this it, it lessons learned. I would definitely work with having people helping me out that knows the Portuguese system before uh, ever reaching out to these schools because I think you'll get a lot more seriousness from the schools. You'll have a better you know, better response from them and get the answers and questions that you needed. Uh, I think we were very lucky on that and I'm very pleased where we're at. Um, but I think you definitely would want to have an agency helping us out with that. Um, just to make it smoother and make sure the children are taken care of. Because at the number one of our whole move here to Europe, it was so our children could get to understand the world and be more cultured. And so that's that was that was the goal. I feel so far we've we've been here now. They've got about what, three months in, and everyone everything's smooth and they're doing well. So I think it was great. It's been a great experience so far.